Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel, Signing with Omar. This is part seven of Common ASL Signs. Are you ready? Let's get started. Now the first sign we're going to go over is the sign capital. Now there are several ways of signing capital depending on how you use the word. For example, if you're signing capital of the United States, to sign that it would look just like this. Now to do this, you simply take your dominant hand, form the letter C. Now if you did not know this was the letter C, I made a video on the alphabet, so why don't you go and refer to that video. So from here, you'll take that letter C and tap the shoulder twice. That is the first way of signing capital. Now the second way of signing capital would be money earned. Now to sign is simply take your non-dominant hand, place that out in front of the body with the palm facing upward. Now take your dominant hand, bring the fingers together. Now you will tap the palm of the non-dominant hand twice. This is representing money. Now from here you'll take that dominant hand and you will pretend as if you're grabbing something and holding on to it. That would be the money you're grabbing onto. That represents earned. So money earned. That's the second way of signing capital. Now, the third way I sign capital as if you're listing the equipment or things that you have representing equipment. So to do this, you'll sign things. And then you will from here, take your non-dominant hand, extend out the index finger, middle finger, ring finger, and the pinky. And from here, you'll take your index finger of your dominant hand and you will point to each one of these fingers representing a list of the equipment or the things that you have as far as capital. So let me show you what that whole sign looks like all together. That is how I sign capital. Now let's go over each one of these. The first, as if the capital of a state. The second would be money earned. And the third will be things or equipment. And here's the list. That is the different ways I sign capital. The sign compare or comparison. To sign compare or comparison, simply take both hands, bring them out in front of the body, palms are facing each other, kind of flex the fingers just like this. From here, you're going to pivot them back and forth a few times. And now take both hands, form the letter Y. The palms are actually facing the viewer. And from here, you're gonna rock them back and forth just like this. So let me show you what that whole sign looks like all together. That is how I sign compare or comparison. Conscious, as in C-O-N-S-C-I-O-U-S. This is the same sign as aware. So to sign this, simply take your dominant hand, flex four of the fingers downward, that would be the pinky, ring finger, middle finger, and the index. Leave the thumb kind of outward. And then from here, you tap the temple twice. Let me see if I can show you from the side. That is how you sign conscious or aware. For the sign conscience, C-O-N-S-C-I-E-N-C-E. -E. Very similar to the prior sign, but what you do, form the same hand shape, but tap the back of the head right here. One more time. That is how I sign conscience. Now for the sign unconscious. To sign unconscious, simply take your dominant hand, form the letter K. From here, place the tip of the middle finger up against the forehead. And then from here, with one motion, go away from the forehead. And as you go away, you form the letter O. This right here. Let me see if I can show you that from the side. That is how you sign unconscious. Now for the sign contrast. To sign contrast similar to compare, the first part you do, you compare the two just like this. Now you add the sign difference or different. Simply extend out the index fingers, cross them like this, and then separate them. And then from here, bring the index finger and the thumb together. Keep the index finger slightly a little bit further away. And then from here, you're going to pretend as if you're doing or pointing to bullet points. 
So let me show you what that whole sign looks like all together. That is how I sign contrast. The sign council, C-O-U-N-S-E-L, from the side. The sign council, simply take your non-dominant hand, bring that out in front of the body. You can either form a fist or leave it kind of extended like this. I prefer to do the fist. Now with your dominant hand, place the tips of the fingers of the dominant hand on the back of the palm of the non-dominant hand, and then from here, flick forward. Let me show you from the side. That is how I sign cancel as with an S-E-L. Now, if you're talking about the word council spelled C-O-U-N-C-I-L, simply take your dominant hand, form the letter C, place that up against the chest. Now, if you are right-handed, it'll go from left to right. And if you're left-handed, it'll go from right to left. So to sign this, simply take your dominant hand, form the letter C, Go from left to right. That is how I sign counsel with the C-I-L. Intuition. To sign intuition, simply take your dominant hand, kind of bring the fingers together like this, and from here, you'll curve the fingers downward and go and tap right where the xiphoid process is. Now, the xiphoid process is right where the ribs come together, and there's a little small bone right here. You don't have to be exact or precise, but get right in that area. So this is how you sign intuition. One more time. See if I can do it from the side. That is how I sign intuition. The sign definite. To sign definite is the exact same sign as to side. So to do this, simply take your index finger of your dominant hand, place that on the forehead, and then from here, take both hands and form the letters F. Now the palms are facing one another and slightly go down. Let me show you what that looks like all together. From the side, maybe. That is how I sign definite. The sign definitive. The sign definitive, simply take your non-dominant hand, the thumb is extended upward, palm is facing me and the fingers are together. Now with your dominant hand, do the exact same hand shape, but with your dominant hand, place it in between the crease of where the thumb and the index finger come together. Now from here, slide that down to the tips of the fingers of the index finger and then go down. Maybe I can show you it from the side. That is how I sign definitive. The sign rough. To sign rough, simply take both hands, curve inward the fingers like this, and so the knuckles right here will come together. With your dominant hand, I will pretend to scrape against the other knuckles of the non-dominant hand, like that see it from the side. That is how I sign rough. The sign texture. To sign texture, simply take your non-dominant hand, place that out in front of the body with the palm facing downward. Now with your dominant hand, bend the fingers just like this, almost like claws, with the tips of the fingers starting close to the wrist. Go from here, bounce, so you get close to the tips of the non-dominant fingers. It's from the side, front again. That is how I sign texture. Now these are a few of my common ASL signs. I hope you've learned something from this. If you did, do me a favor, hit that like button. Next, hit the subscribe button. Last but not least, hit that notification button and stay tuned for my next ASL video.